think um, it's another, that's another example of something you have to actually see in VR to understand. You know, like uh, one of the, ex I, I, I checked it out yesterday, one of the explanations I got was, imagine you have a bunch of different animals. And now when you're in VR, you can really see the, you know, the difference in size between an insect and an elephant, which, you know, you'll get, if somebody sends you a 2D picture of, an, uh, of, of a deer, you think, oh, you know, it's a roughly this size animal. And then they send you a picture of a horse. You think, ah, you know, rough, uh, roughly the same size animal. You, it isn't always clear to you when you're looking at things that way that a horse is actually much, much, much bigger than a deer. Right or you know or a zebra is smaller than a horse. Those those sorts of things. I agree, but the question is, do I need VR for this or just 3D? I mean, I, I I'm totally with the idea of driving through data. Da I, I believe data. You, you guys are onto something pretty big here. Big data visualization is going to be huge. I mean, if you just look at the trend, if you look at companies like Tableau who are starting to do data visualization more 2D. I mean, Tableau. I don't want to oversimplify it, but it's just better than Excel graphs and things like that. But we're seeing a whole stream of companies not only doing big data analytics, but also doing the visualization because there's so much data yeah. out there. You can't possibly comprehend it from a spreadsheet or from a graph. You need some better way of flying through the data. So my question for you, why isn't 3D just, why do I, I mean, I know VR is yeah. hot right now. I mean, I, I think what I'm learning from this show and all the other shows is there's a land grab of VR. There you is. Know, yeah. Everything's VR. You know, so, so, what, you know, so VR is like where the really money is. Yeah, and the money, people, people go where the money is, but yeah. do I really need to yeah. do that? So, or is it, it, would it be better to first figure out how to build a company and do data visualization yeah. in 3D and then bring it to VR? So arguably that might be the case. Um, as far as why you would use VR in 3D, the thing it adds that 3D visualization on a 2D screen simply doesn't have is immersion. Because on a 2D screen, you have to manually control the rotation and the placement of things in such a way that you don't have the freedom to look at things from arbitrary angles from, from inside the data. Mm -hmm. And though that sounds like a, a mild difference, it's like, oh, it's slightly easier, right? That's not very exciting as a difference. It's actually a really important difference because you get inside the data. You can see things from angles on a whim. You can go, oh, hang on, what happens if I do that? Whereas if you've got a sudden figure it out the transforms to do that. You're never going to check things like that. It's a natural way of exploring data. And that leads to insights that you might not have in any other way. And, um, and this is shown in the literature as well. And I, I want to add to that point too. It was kind of like what Mark mentioned, right? In VR, you have this sense of scale. You can't get a sense of scale from looking at a screen, right? You, even if you have a 3D plot of something and it's on a 2D screen, you're limited to only seeing it within this small little box. But if you're inside your data, you want to see the heights of data, like let's say you're a construction manager and you're trying to see the heights of beans that you want to purchase, right? If this is in a bar graph, you can gaze all the way upward and say, okay, that looks about right. This is the price for this other beam that looks, you know, about this high. This type of insight, this type of insight, is the only type of insight that you can get when the, you and the data kind of share the same world. Yeah. Right. Well, it's the reason why someone goes to Home Depot and looks at different exactly. lengths of right. wood instead right. of exactly. looking at them on the Home Depot.com website. You convinced me actually. It was a great answer. So, how about barrier to entry to this? I mean. Uh, you said you've been working on two months. Yeah. What do you have? Something really secret? Is there some secret? I would sauce say we have, no. We, we don't have secret sauce. And part of the thing about us, which differentiates us from the other companies who are going to speak to everyone today, we're not a startup that's well funded and that is immediately planning to go off and sell this and get incredibly rich. That's simply because we stumbled into this um, competition. We 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 were we worked with Envelop um, on as one of the many contracts the Rat Lab serves. It's a technical consulting firm. Um, we worked with Envelop to help them build examples and demos and things using their software. And we're a research group. We thought, well, you know, we like data visualization. That's the thing that we should, should be doing. So we decided we'd build a framework for doing this. Um, and we entered it into the competition, and somehow we got in. So we're a little bit surprised by that, but very excited. Um, we're excited to be here. Very <laughs> excited to be here, just completely over the moon. You know, um, there, there were more than 60 applicants for yeah. these eight slots. So, so, so exactly, yeah. very, very excited. Um, but because of that particular background, the fact that we have an educational mission and more of a humanitarian mission, yeah. we're not convinced that we want to sell this to the world. We're more right. convinced that we want to make this available to the world. Gotcha. So we, we haven't you know, decided for sure yet, but we're either going to be releasing this for free or as an open source right. type project, and then looking to build um, the business side of things around consulting and support using that. And, and further to this point, you know, I'm, gonna I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, okay. I'm, I'm getting the sign from the booth that uh, we <laughs> oh, went way over fine. time. Talk later. I, I, I think I'm gonna come check out your booth. This yeah. has been really interesting, so thanks, thanks so much. Thanks Great. very much. Thank you.